Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Lead In with Lauren. So great to have you this time. Join me in my happy place here in our little farm in Naramata, British Columbia, kind of here for the long weekend. And uh, gosh, it's great to be with you. And I want to talk to you about a couple things today. One is I want to talk to you about uh, whispered networks. And I want to talk to you about sort of the danger that's associated and what you and I can do about it, all right? So I was reading this interesting article in the New York Times. It really got me thinking about this. And uh, there's this notion that uh, about underground whisper networks. And I'm thinking, holy cow, they exist in organizations. They've been in all the organizations that I've been around. And I'm not talking about gossiping. That's not helpful either. I'm talking about there's, you know, it's either something called taboo or it's kind of called the pink elephant or you name whatever color to whatever animal you want to give it. But it's something that people are whispering about, but they don't talk openly about. And holy cow, you know, how unhelpful is that? So here's what, and you know, Amy Edmondson, who's the author of Fearless Organizations, the uh, guru behind psychological safety, you've heard me talk about her a number of times. She says that a, a, a silent organization is a dangerous organization. And that is so true. You know, we can put up with these whisper networks to a point. But then when they get to be systemic out there and that hush actually has an energy of its own, it is really dysfunctional to the progress and acceleration of an organization. So here's what to do. Be aware of the whisper network in your organization if you're a leader. What are people not are talking about quietly whispering and not bringing into the open? And why? And what have you done, and you and I, what have you and I done to contribute to that? And what's the potential challenge with that and the difficulty of the organization? So that's kind of half of the equation. If you're a team member, uh, which we all are, we are, we're both, and we're often leaders and team members, with that hat on, what are you doing to have the courage to go and lift up and to open up the conversation? And I know that can be daunting. Because it's a reason why it's taboo to begin with, right? Somebody felt like they got whacked on the noggin or whatever for, uh, for saying something, and we're not dumb. So on the other hand, it is very, very unhelpful when there are strong movements where people are questioning something but unfeeling that they can't say something about it. Bad things will ultimately happen. So this week, your leader. Be conscious, be open, put that ear out there. What is the whisper network? What are they humming about? If you're part of the whisper network, come on, you know, have a little courage. Now look at, if you get any grief, take this video and show it to your boss. And here's my phone number, 780-221-2765. Have them call me. I'll happy to be your number one supporter. I mean it, no crap. Let's amplify this stuff and get it out in the open. Thanks for hanging out with me. Look forward to seeing you next Monday. Bye for now.